guys! Welcome to Cup of Teach. Today, we're going to talk about universal sets and subsets. Ang targets natin dito sa video na to is first, we should be able to identify the universal set. Next, we should be able to give all the subsets of a universal set and tell whether a set is a subset of the universal set or not. Tara! Simula na natin! Universal set, it is denoted by U and contains all the elements being considered in a given situation. Example, set U is the set of all natural numbers from 1 to 10. So, ito yung situation na hinihingi para magkaroon tayo ng universal set. So, ano-ano yung mga elements natin? Okay. So, ito ang name ng ating set. So, set U or the universal set. And the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Ito na yung ating universal set. And kung mapapansin nyo, meron pa tayong mga set dito. So, we have set A, which is 2, 4, 6. Set B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And set C, we have 2, 4, 6, 8. Kung mapapansin ninyo, lahat ng elements ng tatlong set na to ay makikita natin kay universal set. Let us try to give the universal set U. Set U is the set of all odd numbers between 0 to 10. So, ang kailangan lang natin ay all odd numbers between 0 to 10. So, name your set as set U and then ilagay na lahat ng elements. So, the elements, odd numbers between 0 to 10, we have 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Huwag kakalimutan si open and close braces and the comma separating the elements. Next, we have set A with elements 2, 4, 8, and 10. We have set B, elements 1, 2, 3, 4. Set C with the elements 5, 7, 9, and 10. And set D, we have 3, 7, 8, and 11. Let us try to give the universal set. So, the first thing that you're going to do is write the name of the set, set U. Then, the open and close braces. Then, ilista lahat ng elements na makikita natin dun sa apat na set na given kanina. So, we have 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So, dito sa apat na set na ito, Ang mabubuo nating universal set is this. The elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Now that we know what universal set is, let us talk about the subset. Set A is a subset of set B if all the elements in A are also in B. The statement set A is a subset of set B can also be written as this. Take a look at the symbol of subset. So, para lang siyang letter, letters IU or UI na nakabaliktad. Example, we have the set A with elements 2, 4, 6 and set B with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you can notice, the elements in A can also be seen in B. That is why set A is a subset of set B. Also, if set A is a proper subset of set B, then there is at least one element in B that is not in A. The statement A is a proper subset of set B can be written as this one. So, take a look at the difference of the two. So, pag sinabi nating subset, the symbol 
para siyang UI na nakahiga. Kapag naman proper subset, para lang siyang letter U. So, the difference between a subset and a proper subset, si subset, basta lahat ng elements ni A na kay B. Si proper subset naman, lahat ng elements ni A na kay B. Pero, hindi lahat ng elements ni B ay na kay A. Take note, an empty set is always a subset of every set. And every set is a subset of itself. To determine the number of subset in a set, use 2 raised to the n, where n is the cardinality. Let's have this as an example. Consider set u with the elements a, b, and c. List down all the possible subsets. So, para malista natin lahat ng possible subsets natin, kailangan alam muna natin kung ilan ito. So, para malaman natin kung ilan yung subsets natin, let's use the formula na sinabi ko kanina, which is 2 to the n. So, ang una natin gagawin, count all the elements. So, ang elements natin ay 3, so the cardinality is 3. The formula, 2 to the n, yung n dito is the cardinality. So, ang gagawin lang natin, papalitan natin si n, gagawin natin 3. Okay. So, yung 3 dito, ito yung magsasabi kung ilang beses nating itatime si 2 sa sarili niya. So, dahil 3 yan, ibig sabihin, 3 times nating itatime si 2 sa sarili niya. Ayan. So, we have 2 times 2 times 2. And the answer is 8. So, therefore, there are 8 possible subsets of this set. Now, pwede na natin ilista lahat ng subsets. Tip, ang pinakauna nyong ililista para hindi nyo makalimutan is the empty set. Then, the next thing na ililista nyo, yung tigi isang elements. So, we have here the subset containing the element A. Next is the subset containing the element B. Then the subset containing the element C. So, nakakaapat na subsets na tayo. For the next subsets, yung tigdalawa naman. So, we have the elements AB. Next, the elements BC. Then, the elements AC. So, so far, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 subsets pa lang. Pero ang sagot natin is 8. So, meron pang nawawala. Okay. So, wag nyong kakalimutan that a set is of subset of itself. So, yung sarili niya, subset niya. So, yan. Meron na tayong 8 na subsets. Let us try to answer this. Is it a subset or not a subset? So, we have here the universal set U. We have the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And these sets, set A with elements 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Set B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Set C, 1, 2, 4, 5. And set D, 2, 4, 8. Okay, first question. Is set A a subset of set U? Correct. A is a subset of set U. Next, is C a subset of set U? Correct. C is a subset of set U. How about D? Is D a subset of set U? Very good. Yes, it is a subset. Next, how about set U? Is it a subset of set U? Okay. 
si u ay subset ni set u. Tandaan, a subset or a set is always a subset of itself. Next, is b a subset of c? Okay, si b is not a subset of c. Kasi meron tayong element ni b, which is 3, na wala kay C. How about C? Is it a subset of B? Okay, very good. Yes, it is a subset of B. Lahat ng elements ni C ay na kay B. Next, is set U a subset of B? Correct. It is not a subset of B. Kasi ang elements lang ni B ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, hindi niya po pwede maging subset si U. Next, is D a subset of A? Correct. D is a subset of A. And last, is A a subset of B? Very good. Hindi. Let's have another one. Find the number of subsets of the given set. So, remember the formula, 2 raised to the n, where n is the cardinality of the set. Let's have this first example. Set A with elements 2, 4, and 6. So, the cardinality of the set here is 3. Kasi tatlo lang naman yung elements niya. So, you have to multiply 2 3 times to itself. So, magiging 2 times 2 times 2. And what's the answer for that? 8. Let's have the next one. Set B. So, the cardinality here is 5. There are five elements. So, what should be the, the number of subsets? So, it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Limang beses yon, And that is 32. Next one. Set C with elements 1, 2, 3, and 4. The cardinality here is 4. There are 4 elements. So the number of subset is 16. Kasi 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. You have to multiply 2 4 times. That is 16. And last one. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 elements. How many is the subset? The answer is 64. There are 6 elements, so you have to multiply 2 6 times to itself. Very good. Now, list all the subsets of the given set. This is our given set. Set A is equal to 2, 4, and 6. So, ilan ulit ang ating subset? There are 8. So, the subsets are, again, ang unang isusulat is the empty set. Next, yung mga set na may tigi isang elements. So, we have here 2, 4, and 6. Then, next naman, yung may tigda dalawang elements. 2, 4, 2, 6, 4, 6. And lastly, ang huling subset natin 
ay yung sarili niya. So, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 subsets all in all. Good job, guys! Now, recap tayo ng mga napag-usapan natin dito sa video na to. First, a universal set contains all the elements being considered in a given situation. Set A is a subset of set B if all the elements of A are also in B. It is written as An empty set is always a subset of every set, and all sets are a subset of itself. The formula to get the number of subsets is 2 raised to the n, where n is the cardinality of the set. Thank you for watching! That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!